Unintended exposure to trace amounts of chemotherapy drug residue can compromise your safety and the well-being of your patients and coworkers. Proper cleaning minimizes contamination of IV bags and other devices in patient care areas. To remove chemotherapy residue from your biological safety cabinets, hoods and isolators, you will need to wipe each surface twice with Paradox and then once more with isopropyl alcohol. This video will show you how to get the best results. Before working with any chemical, become familiar with it by reading the safety data sheet. Section 2 describes any health hazards and Section 4 covers first aid measures. Paradox and other Contact product safety data sheets are available at contactinc.com. Application details and other information on Paradox can be found on the bottle label. When using disinfectants, follow your facility's policies. Depending on the specific equipment and chemotherapy agents being processed at your facility, personal protective equipment and gowning requirements may vary from what you see in this video. Consult your supervisor for more information on proper gowning requirements and PPE. Before you start cleaning, remove all loose items from the hood. Unlike cotton gauze, which sheds a lot of fibers and particles, spun lace non-woven wipes are much cleaner and are much more suitable for critical environments like chemotherapy preparation areas. Begin cleaning by saturating the non-woven wipe with Paradox. Since Paradox contains hydrogen peroxide and acetic acid, it smells like vinegar or pickles. Use the pull top when saturating pads and wipes to minimize the pickle smell. Remove any residue from the Easy Reach cleaning tool with the Paradox saturated wipe. Discard the used wipe, get a fresh wipe, and repeat this step so that the tool has been cleaned twice with Paradox. Get a fresh wipe, saturate it with sterile 70% isopropyl alcohol, and wipe down the Easy Reach handle. Now that the Easy Reach handle is free of contamination, attach the Easy Reach pad to the Easy Reach cleaning tool by inserting the backing plate into the bigger pocket on the back of the pad. Pull the shorter tab over the backing plate to secure the pad. Independent lab studies have shown that cleaning all of the surfaces two times with Paradox, followed by a wipe down with isopropyl alcohol, can remove more than 99.9% .9 of chemotherapy residue. Use the Easy Reach to wipe the walls with overlapping strokes so that every square inch of the wall has been cleaned with Paradox. To ensure the surfaces of your primary engineering control are properly decontaminated, cleaned, and disinfected, the correct wiping techniques must be employed. The most commonly accepted practice is to start at the left side of your primary engineering control and work to the right. To clean the left side panel, start at the top left corner, wiping from left to right. Using overlapping strokes, continue wiping the surface, working from the top of the unit to the bottom. Repeat this process for the back wall, followed by the right. Once the interior vertical surfaces of the unit have been wiped, you're ready to clean the horizontal work surfaces. In a similar fashion, begin the wiping process in the back left corner and wipe across the surface to the right. Continue working from the back of the surface toward the front using overlapping strokes until the entire area has been covered. While this is the most commonly used wiping technique, there are similar variations that are in use. The Easy Reach Cleaning Tools swiveling head makes cleaning corners and hard to reach spots a lot easier. If bleach residue or another contaminant is on the surface when Paradox is applied, a chemical odor may be released. This will dissipate once the residue has been removed. After you've wiped all the surfaces once with the Easy Reach and Paradox, do it a second time. Watch to ensure that you're using enough Paradox to wipe and wet each surface uniformly. To disinfect with Paradox, keep surfaces wet for three minutes. This will kill bacteria, viruses, and spores. Paradox is safe to use on stainless steel and most other surface materials found in the pharmacy. Unlike bleach, Paradox will not oxidize stainless steel. After the second pass with Paradox, get a fresh Easy Reach pad. Saturate it with 70% isopropyl alcohol and clean all the surfaces with IPA. As you can see, Contact's Easy Reach Cleaning Tool enables you to reach across to the other side of the hood without overextending and having to lean into the environment. 
When you are finished, discard the Easy Reach pad. Hang the Easy Reach tool up and out of the way using the hole in the end of the handle. The same chemotherapy cleanup can be done with non-woven wipes. Saturate with Paradox and clean with overlapping strokes. Begin cleaning in the least soiled area and work your way toward the surfaces with the most contamination. As wipes become soiled, put them into the disposable bag to keep them from recontaminating a clean surface. The disposable bag containing used wipes will be discarded when the cleanup has been completed. Once you've finished cleaning, remove your outer gloves and dispose of them according to your facility's procedures. Cleaning and disinfecting daily with Paradox will keep you and your patients safer by minimizing unintended exposure to chemotherapy residue.